Welcome to a new video lecture. Today we will discuss a very new concept related with the influence line diagram. When a train of concentrated loads traveling across a beam, what is the condition for maximum bending moment in the beam? In the previous video lectures, we already discussed about the what do you mean by train of concentrated loads? Then what is the condition for maximum shear force? So even if you didn't watch, please go and watch the previous video lectures. So in this video lecture, we will discuss the what is the expression for finding out the maximum bending moment and also the a problem also related with this one. So with the help of a diagram, I will explain. So let us consider a simply supported beam which supports A and B and the span length is small l and a, a series of constant loads is traveling across the beam. In this case, we just consider six loads are traveling. So we have to find out out of these six loads, when out of these six loads, which load is acting at the point, an intermediate point, let us take the point BC, will give the maximum bending moment. So we will consider this A to C distance as Z, and the remaining distance will be L minus Z. So for finding out, we have to find out what are loads that are acting to the right and to the left. Okay. So, we have to find out this, this much loads, out of this much loads, W1, W2, W3 and W4. Let us take, these are acting in the left side and this W5 and W6 to the right side. Okay. So, what is the resultant of these loads? This W1, W2, W3 and W4. We have to consider, let us take the values R1. And this resultant value that is W5 and W6 that is the loads which are acting to the right side we will take as R2. Okay. So if we consider also we will consider the distance means the from the point C to the resultant of this left side load that is C to this R1 will be taken as X. Okay, then if you draw the bend, influence line diagram for MC, the figure will be in this format. So the maximum bending moment will be YC and the corresponding this, if you consider this W1, W2, W3 and W4 as a single load, that is R1, it will give an ordinate Y1. Correspondingly, here also, R2 will give Y2 as the coordinate. Okay. Then using our similar triangle law, find out the values. So MC means what? R1 Y1 plus R2 Y2. Just you multiplying with the reaction with the ordinate. R1 multiplied by Y1 and R2 multiplied by Y2. Okay. Then Y1 means what? We have to, we, have, we can find out using the similar triangle law. That means, first you have to consider this bigger triangle, that is YC by Z, YC by this much distance is, is already given. Multiplied by the smaller triangle distance will be Z minus X. Means, here the distance we already mentioned that X, so the remaining distance will be Z minus X. Okay. And here we can find out this Y2 value by considering this small triangle and this bigger triangle you will get this value. For finding out maximum bending moment, the value will be, we have to take the derivative and it will be going to be zero. So in this case, here one x times and here also one x times. So if you differentiate, there will be minus R1 yc by z into x into 1. Okay. So minus R1 yc by z then here there is a one x term here, other all other terms will go to zero if you take the derivative. Then here it will come to positive, so R2 y c by L by Z, L minus Z equals zero. So finally you will get the expression of R1 by Z equals R2 by L minus Z. Okay, so with this expression we will work out the problem. So this means that average load on the left side 
equal average load on right side. Okay. While doing problems, you will get more clarity about how to place each load on the intermediate point line, in this case C, and then how to analyze it. Okay. Now we will do a problem based on how to find the maximum bending moment. So please note down the question. Four point loads, eight comma fifteen comma fifteen, and a ten kilonewton half center to center spacing of two meter between consecutive loads, and they traverse a grid of thirty meter span from left to right with a ten kilonewton load lindy. Calculate the maximum bending moment at eight meters from the left to support. Okay. So with the help of diagram, I will explain. A simply supported beam with the supports A and B given and the span distance is 8, 30 meters. And we have to find a, the maximum bending moment at a point C and its distance is 8 meters from the support A. And the series of loads, 10 kN, that is leading the series of load behind the 15, again 15 and 8 meters. The distance between each load is given as 2 meters. So this is the given question. So we have to find out out of these four loads when which load will give the maximum bending moment when you place at the point C. So we can easily find out the ordinate at the C using this Z by L then multiplied by L minus Z equation. So we will get 5.867 that is the YC ordinate. Okay. So we have to place the arrangement of these four loads then only we will get the maximum bending moment. So, if you check, this is one of the possibility. Means, the 10 kN load is crossing over the point C and 15 kN is acting at the point C. So, let us consider these loads with W1, W2, W3 and W4. Okay. Then, second condition is that this W3 is acting at the point C and both the W2 and W1 crosses over the point C. This is the second condition. Then third condition is that W4 is acting at the point C and the rest of the loads is crossed over the point C. So, okay, this is the three conditions we are going to analyze. Okay. We already discussed in our above discussion R1 by Z and R2 by L minus Z. R1 means all the loads to the left of the section C and R2 means all the loads to the right of the section C. So, in this case, please note out this table also, load, crane, load crossing and the second uh, average load and the remark column is there. So, first case we are going to leave, 10 kN load is crossing over the point C. Then, here we will get the average value that is 38 by 8. How you got that value? Average load on the left side will be 8 plus 15 plus 15 that is give 38 by 8. And here, average load on BC will be only 10, 10 by 22. Okay. So, in this case, both the values are not going to be equal. Okay. We have already mentioned that R1 by Z equal to R2 by L minus Z in the discussion. But, very rarely these conditions occur. If this condition occurs, you can finally the, the loading condition. So, in this case, the average load on AC greater than average load on BC. So we will go to the next condition that is 15 kN is acting at the point. So uh, 15 kN crosses the point C. So you will get the value as 23 by 8. 23 by 8 means this much value. 8 plus 15, 23 by 8. And the remaining loads will be 15 plus 10, 25 by 22. Here also the value is going to be average load on AC is greater than average load on BC. Again, you have to consider the 15 kN crosses the point. The second 15 kN crosses the point C. And at, at that time, 8 kN is acting at the point C. So 8 by 8 is only acting at the left side and the remaining loads will be 40 by 22. Here the parameter condition is changing or the time is changing. So you have to select the condition at which it is going to be changed. That means 
The second condition that means 15 kilo newton when 15 kilo newton crosses the point C will give the maximum bending moment. Okay. At which point the sign is going to be or sign parameter is going to be changed here? Greater than here, greater than again, less than coming. So at which point the sign parameter changes, you have to select that load condition. So if you substitute the values or you arrange the load in that parameter 8, 15, 15, that means the second 15 is acting at the point C, you will get the values. The, you have to find out the ordinates y1, y2, y3 using similar triangle laws. And if you substitute 8 multiplied by y1, 15 multiplied by y3, 15 multiplied by y2, 10 multiplied by y3. You can easily find out this y1 using similar triangle means yc by 8, yc by 8 multiplied by 6. 6 means the remaining distance. Then 15 multiplied by yc. Similarly, you can use this 15 and using this similar triangle laws, this bigger triangle and compare with this small triangle, substitute the values, then 10 multiplied by y3. And if you substitute the yc value, it's already given 5.867. If you substitute the value, you will get 251.21 kN meter. Okay. So this is the concept related with the maximum bending moment. So I hope the section is very clear. This is we'll wind up today's section. Thank you.